Grammar three for level three students. Unit six. Subject verb agreement. Basic subject verb agreement. Adding final s or es to a verb. A final s or es is added to a simple present verb when the subject is a singular noun. In this chart, we see Ali, it is a singular noun, and the verb play, it is in the present simple. So we add s to the verb. Ali plays football. Another example, Ahmed, it's a singular noun, and we add s with the simple present form of the verb, swims. Ahmed swims often. Es is added to a verb ending in double s, ch, sh, and x. See the examples. Nora, it is a singular noun, and the verb wash, it ends in sh. So we add es with the present simple form of this verb. Nora washes her plate. Hassan, it's a singular noun, and the verb watch, which ends in ch. So we add es to the simple form of this verb. Hassan watches news on TV. Adding final s or es to a verb. A final s or es is added to a simple present form of the verb when the subject is the third person singular number. We see the noun Ali is a singular noun. We change Ali to he, a singular pronoun. Ali plays football. We can say he plays football. The singular noun was Ahmed and we change Ahmed to a singular pronoun he. He swims often. How we change Ali? To he. Ali plays football. Since it is a singular noun, we can change this noun to a singular pronoun, third person singular number. The third person singular number. And then we write he instead of Ali. He plays football. There is no change in the verb. Ahmed swims often. It is a singular noun, so we change it into a singular pronoun. He swims often. We change Ahmed to he. He swims often. The same way, the singular noun Nora, we change it into she. Instead of Nora, we can write she. She washes her plate. Hassan watches news on TV. We change Hassan to he. He watches news on TV. Also, we can use it as the third person singular number. It's a pronoun and we write the present simple form of the verb adding s. It rains here in summer. 